So one of the things that we're interested in is determining if we mix two solutions that contain uh, common ions of an insoluble salt, will it precipitate form? And how we're gonna do this is by calculating Q. And we've seen Q in the past. It basically means that we're using concentrations where we're unsure if we're at an equilibrium or not. So when we do this for a insoluble salt, it has a specific name called an ion product. So we're gonna be calculating an ion product in this case. So we have here a generic uh, insoluble salt. It disassociates to make A and B. These are our common ions. And so what we're gonna do is take the given concentrations and plug them into our um, solubility product, our equilibrium expression for our insoluble salt and, and then calculate a value. So remember Q means that we're not sure. So once you find Q, then you can compare Q to KSP and that's gonna tell us where are we at um, in relevance to the um, equilibrium. So if QSB or our ion product is greater than KSP, it means our solution is super saturated. And uh, by Le Chatelier's principle, this means that our equilibrium is gonna have to shift to the left for us to reach equilibrium. And when we do this, it means that we are going to form a precipitate. So when QSP is less than KSP, it means we have an unsaturated solution. So we haven't, don't have a large enough concentration of the ions in solution to create a precipitate. So no precipitate forms. And then um, at, if QSP is equal to KSP, that means we're right on the edge of precipitation and our solution is saturated. So let's take a look at what this uh, actually looks like in a calculation. So I have a solution with a known concentration of nickel two plus, and then I start adding in carbonate in the form of sodium carbonate. And I've given you two different uh, concentrations that we're gonna look at. And we wanna know if a precipitate is gonna form in either one of these two concentrations of carbonate. So we, what we need to start with is the um, solubility product or the KSP full nic nickel carbonate. So this is given here. And we always wanna take a second and remember that sodium carbonate uh, is a soluble salt, which means it dis, uh, disassociates 100%. So really when we add sodium carbonate, really what we're um, adding to the solution is carbonate. That's the, the, uh, the species that we're interested in because um, uh, nickel and carbonate react together to form nickel, um, nickel two carbonate, which is a insoluble salt. So that's the, what really what we're interested in here. So we can say that whatever our concentration of sodium carbonate is gonna be equal to our co concentration of carbonate. So it's really important to take a second because um, the stoichiometry is not always one-to-one -one and we wanna make sure we have the right concentration of carbonate. So if I look at the um, disassociation of our nickel two carbonate that disassociates to make nickel two plus and uh, carbonate and our uh, solubility product KSP is equal to the concentration of nickel two plus times the concentration of carbonate. So it's just, uh, remember our reactant here is a solid, so it doesn't show up in our KSP and there's no, the, the, the stoichiometry is one, so we're not raising anything to any power. So for the first case, we have our known concentration of nickel. I plug, it, plug in the concentration of carbonate that's given. I found find QSP, which means I'm not sure about where I'm at with my equilibrium. And then once I have this number, nine times 10 to the mi minus 10, so this is where we're at right now, we then compare that to our KSP, which was given in initially. So QSP is less than KSP, so the solution is unsaturated and uh, no precipitate uh, form. So it means I'm going to have to add more carbonate for us to get a precipitate out. So I have a feeling here that this is what's gonna happen in the second case. So I do the same calculation. All this really changes my concentration of carbonate here. Our uh, concentration of nickel was a constant. We add a certain amount of carbonate to it. We multiply these two together and we get our um, ion product or QSP, which is nine times 10 to the minus, eight, minus eighth. So in this case now, when I compare QSP to KSP, um, the QSP or ion product is larger than KSP. So that means that the solution is super saturated and uh, nickel two carbonate solid will start to precipitate out of this uh, solution.